Hey everyone, I've been playing a game called Warpath, uh, made for iPhone and Android. I've enjoyed um, the game quite a lot uh, because you get to play with other people, uh, a lot of PV PvP element to it, um, also some PvE elements to it. Um, but I have found that um, the community has a very large pay to win um, element. So coming up, coming up against people um, who pay substantial amounts um, to increase the power of their bases, power of the units, um, it makes it almost impossible to compete against them. I thought, well, let me try and create a bot that can maybe go a little ways to try and level the playing field. So um, my tools of choice uh, is an emulator, so an Android emulator like Nox Player, as you can see here, um, <clears throat> or you can download something like Bluestacks. So this is my base, um, loaded up into Nox Player. Um, as you can see, my other tool that I've chosen to use for this purpose, for the botting purpose, um, is a program called Win Automation. So effectively, you know, it's a normal macro tool, but with added uh, functionality, um, you can really do some good stuff. It has image recognition. So you know, when you need to know that something has happened and you can only visually see that, um, it's a good tool to use for that. So let me get straight into it. Um, as you can see, uh, my player, um, has quite a lot of the world that hasn't been explored yet. Um, so I want to obviously um, get to 100% um, map reveal. Uh, another reason why you actually want to do that is because some of the city objectives is, uh, in, is to reveal the map uh, and you get good rewards for doing that. So you want to do that uh, fairly quickly. Um, I mean, you get quite a lot of time. But to be honest, do you really want to be sitting at your um, phone or at your computer, you know, clicking the buttons, revealing the map um, for hours on end? So uh, here's a little bot that maybe you can you, you can download. Um, I'll leave it. Um, I'll leave it in the more section of the video. So effectively, what we have here is I've just there's three functions. So the main function is just to create a loop. Um, what I have here is when the bot starts, it runs the initialize um, function. And basically, I've created the wait time between each uh, button press um, is 0.6 seconds. Because sometimes what happens is that the window doesn't pop up very quickly. Uh, so you want between each button press, you want um, to wait a little while uh, before it uh, moves to the next button press. Uh, so I've, so generally between each one, it's 0.6 seconds. Uh, I just I do that um, here because then I can just change it once if I want to if I want to change all of them. Because if I have a a wait function between every single button press that I that I have in my bot. So what it does then it goes into a loop as an enders loop. So basically, if one equals one uh, and it always equals one, uh, it will just continuously go through the loop. So it then goes through to the search map function. So what happens here, as you can see, um, uh, here we have the, the search map uh, bot. So I've provided comments and you can read them for yourself. Um, but the first thing that it does is it looks to see if um, the scout icon has this orange um, has this orange uh, number at the top. So obviously we know that if it does have it, it means that we have a scout plane available to to search the map. So if it finds an orange, um, it will then go through the ho everything that's in this if function. So let me start the function and I'll walk through each of uh, the functions and what they do. So I'm just gonna right click and start from here. Right, so I'm just going to walk through it step by step. So, the if function to look for the orange. So effectively, it's found, it's found it. Um, 
what it, now it will move the mouse to the scout button um, because it's it's found that it has a scout plane available uh, it presses on there and obviously it brings up the scout plane management um, window at the bottom so what it's what it does now is it waits for that scout um, button to appear so if I move through the function it waits for it if it finds it it moves to the next function if it doesn't it waits for it a, a little while longer so uh, what I've done here is that sometimes uh, depending on your bandwidth that bottom window doesn't pop up quickly so instead of just moving to the scout button and pressing it I wait for it um, to appear and then once it's found that it will only then move on to the next function which is move the mouse button to the scout button and then presses on it yeah so we have a scout plane as as we normally do with pressing the buttons ourselves it now waits for the, the scout plane search button to appear so again instead of just moving straight to the search button it waits for that image to appear so um, what it does I've moved on to the next so it found the search image now instead of just moving to the search button what I've done here is to to use a function um, to move the mouse to a specific image now why I've done this is because that search button does not appear in the same part of the screen every single time so depending if you're on the side of the map as an example the top or the bottom um, that uh, window will pop up um, at the bottom or at the top of your screen uh, sometimes it just puts it in a random place um, so effectively what I what I've um, instructed the bot to do is to search for this search button this blue search button in a large area so that if this button appears anywhere within the screen it will find it uh, so once it finds it so I'm going to move on to the next step so it's going to uh, move to the image uh, and it obviously takes a little while longer because it's looking for a um, it's looking in a large area so it found the search button I'm then uh, the bot then sends a mouse click for this for it to search uh, and uh, once it starts searching um, the bot then uh, moves to the base icon um, and uh, presses on the base icon f for it to um, to focus in on the base um, and the last is an end label basically what that label is is that if um, if it's not in the move mouse image um, in the move mouse image function if it's if it's not able to find the image I've instructed the bot to skip all of this code and move to the end uh, effectively just going through the loop continuously so so that's a, a quick walkthrough of um, of the bot uh, what I'll do now is I'll just show you um, how this runs continuously so let me press play for the bot um, and you can see for yourself how it works scouting uh, what's great about this is when your scout planes start moving um, further and further away from your base um, as the orange number appears it obviously it means that the scout planes finished scouting but it's still in that scout area that it was looking for and when you when you uh, the map that you're scouting is really far away from the base you don't really want the plane to travel all the way back to your base only for you to send it back out again you're wasting a lot of search time by the scout um, plane traveling between your base and the scout area so what's really good about this bot is that it it immediately sees um, that the plane is available for the next search um, and while it is still within the scout area that it was scouting um, it it will then continue to scout within that area so it really creates efficiency and, and it's able you're able to obviously scout the areas far quicker so obviously one of the things that um, I have not uh, worked into the bot is if it finds a radar station or a lighthouse uh, which will then ex you know obviously expose some of the map even quicker 
Um, but what I have found is that uh, leaving this uh, the bot running, um, you really don't need to have, um, you really don't need to be using the lighthouse and radar searches. Um, and uh, because the, you know, it's running through the spot quite quickly, um, and within a few minutes, you've already exposed the area that the lighthouse or the radar would have exposed. So obviously, we know now that um, the scout planes are busy searching um, and revealing the map. So what the body is doing is it keeps on reiterating or working through this loop. Um, and what it does is it's looking for that orange um, number to appear um, to then go through the um, to go then th to then go through the search map uh, function. Uh, it waits five seconds. Um, you can change that to to any time. Um, I've just for the sake of convenience just changed made it five seconds. Um, so what we'll do is you'll just wait um, for the um, for the scout planes to finish scouting. So there you can see it's finished scouting, so it finds the orange. And as you can see, the plane is already within the search area. So it just, you know, it just carries on searching in that search area. So that's, a, that's the um, scouting option. Uh, I think it's quite handy, although it definitely does not give you an added advantage uh, over the pay to win players. Um, it just, you know, it, it helps you spend less time doing the mundane tasks in front of um, your phone or your PC. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, what I'll do is I'll try and make a, I'll look for another uh, mundane task to, to bot and I'll share that with you in the next video. All right then, cheers, bye.